I don't know who needs to be told this, but just keep your head above water. Your story is going to get so much better soon. Hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Libra. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly you versus them reading between you and your person. I also do your weekly general reading uh, for your zodiac sign Libra, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my readings, Libra, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, Libra. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. If you find some cards that resonate with you, be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones do, because that's how I keep up with y'all is through the comments. And if you do find a card that resonates, Libra, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help out my channel a lot. And I am super appreciative of it, Libra, when you guys take the time to do that for me. And finally, Libra, this reading's here just to give you some food for thought, something for you to think about, a perspective to consider as you go throughout your week. But I'm not here to make a decision in your life, because it's your life to live, not mine. With all that being said, Libra, let's start getting into your reading. We have for your overall energy this week between you two, Libra, is the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Discs. So I enjoy this energy pretty well, Libra. When you have the Ace of Swords, this is letting me know of, I see this as like progression for you two, Libra, like a uh, forward progression in how you guys are um, seeing each other. So what I mean by this would be like, you know, perhaps if one or both of you, Libra, were in this place of where you haven't been sure of their intentions and, you know, there hasn't been a, let's call it like a stalemate, I guess, with how you, your perception of this person. It does seem to be um, forward motion in terms of how uh, you'll, like, it just seems to be you're going to be seeing them with improved eyes this week, and vice versa. Because with the Ten of Discs, the Ten of Discs is a very promising energy, a very stable energy, a very, you know, it's kind of much having, like, it all in terms of a home life, uh, just a happy, content, uh, connection overall. You just feel, it is, like, I can't really stress it enough, aware it's just a beautiful card to have for, a uh, general energy between you two. So it leads me to believe um, you guys are going towards the path of stability with one another and your perception of one another. Maybe you guys are finally Libra able to understand, you're able to start understanding from the other perspective now. Um, or at the very least, I mean, we can always like, I'll be seeing it in the cards, Libra, but um, clarifiers could just change the story up entirely, right? I could be having an optimistic view of this, and this is just you having forward thinking and moving on from this person to, for further stability, right? I mean, that's just me being completely transparent, Libra. But uh, let's get into these cards now, Libra. I pulled a card for you, I pulled a card for them, Libra, and then I pulled a card for the energy between y'all two, and we'll just get into this energy now. On the your side of things, Libra, you have, beautifully enough, the Ace of Wands. Now, the Ace of Wands, again, more forward movement, Libra, you're feeling extremely passionate at this time, uh, whether it's related to this person or not, it could be related or unrelated, right? You could just be in the state of just forward progression in terms of, like, your career, right? Because I know, Libra, for your general reading, you guys had an amazing uh, career reading. So definitely go check that out if you haven't. But, so yeah, you're just in this place of truly thriving, I would say. You're just in this state of... You know, you're, you're not even, you're not looking what's going on behind you. You're not even looking from side to side. You're laser focused on going forward, Libra. So I really enjoy this. Uh, on their side of things, Libra, they have the Empress card, which makes sense. Now we could have this in two ways. Uh, Libra, we could be the self-involved individual human beings that we sometimes can be and be like, oh, maybe this person is watching you from afar, Libra, and it's through your insane motivation, through your insane uh, passion that you're exuding right now that's inspiring this person, that's allowing this person to uh, see you in a better light, maybe just be inspired by you, right? Maybe that's what leads to, like, that's why there's more, like, stable energy coming towards you, Libra, is because they're able to just respect you more, perhaps, or just appreciate, um, 
the passionate individual that you are and just how motivated you are towards improving your life, essentially, right? So the connection between you two, Libra, now this is what I was saying <laughs> with clarifiers, that it could change the view entirely. We have the Five of Cups. So I'm getting the impression, Libra, that one side want is has the intention of leaving while the other side doesn't. And I, it could be either or, right? Because it is the middle energy, so you have to decide, Libra. Um, maybe the cards will tell me which side it is for me. But with this Five of Cups, this is, in, in essence, someone being felt left in the dust. Perhaps someone that probably feels stuck in their own situation, Libra, while you are continuing going forward. Well, I guess it's presumptuous, right? <laughs> I guess I said you, so I guess I am seeing it as you, Libra, who's going just forward, which makes more sense logically if you're going to keep in mind with the Ace of Wands. So beautiful energy, Libra. Let's start getting into some clarifiers here. Overall, what I'm seeing, Libra, is just you just, best thing you can do, whatever it is this Ace of Wands is resonant towards, whether it is even you feeling motivated towards going towards this person, I see you just honoring that and going forward with it because we do have that other ace, right? So two aces, as a tarot reader, you usually can take that as a sign of like forward movement and especially with the ace of swords being the matters of the mind um, and the ace of wands being a matters of passion and forward movement, both of them represent forward movement. I really would just take this as an affirmative being like continuing what it is that you're doing, Libra. Um, on their side of things, it seems like they're just in this place of growing, whether it's because of you or not, they're just progressing through their life as well, Libra. So if you have this anxiety that you're just leaving them out in the dust, which might explain the Five of Cups, I mean, perhaps you are in one sense, but they're also, they're just on their own path, right? Maybe you can just take comfort in the fact that maybe you two will reconvene again if you guys are in a place of separation. At a later point once they continue growing and you continue focusing on yours libra so let's pull some clarifiers now starting out with your ace of wands libra let's see what's up with that we have the two of wands which makes sense for you uh continuing on with that passionate energy libra this is a all-encompassing energy is letting me know where this forward movement is it's not just in regards to this connection libra it's just you and your perspective of this life and how you want to tackle the world right you look at this individual libra and this person just holding a globe and really just taking account of like what it is their next move is what is the next big step for libra right fire energy just continuing on with fire energy very passionate energy and you're going towards stability right so it's kind of in essence like the general two general cards i pulled from the necronomicon deck libra you're in essence it's like in your energy heavily um <laughs> ten of pentacles you're in this process you're only focused on stability you're only focused on um trying to get yours and having your own stable foundation and someone else wants to come along and join that they're more than welcome to but they have to play their part as well because you're in this place of where you can't you from your perspective see that yourself as you can't continue like you can't uh take anyone along with you like you can't drag someone along you're not going to try to convince somebody because if you have to convince them of trying to find stability libra then it's just like you don't what right then we have the lover's card coming in so <laughs> you are making big decisions libra i do feel like dare i say for a lot of you libras especially if this is in regards to love um you're probably see seeing this as a situation of maybe you're not quite ready to open up for love quite yet until you get into your stability right until um whatever it is that you, you there's like some type of passion that you have to satiate first and maybe it is just with this person maybe you know if we're going to consider this in taking action libra like i've been speaking with this energy as if it's unrelated to this person but it very easily could i only am speaking just in terms of like whatever it, whatever it is that you feel most passionately about and if it's towards this person then that's what it is if it's towards uh financial in your career which the uh ten of pentacles kind of hits hints at libra then that's what it is right 
queen of wands back of the deck energy this is you libra you are being the queen of wands the wands are following you this makes sense as to why all those wands were there first place again state of passion queen of wands doesn't mind being alone because she's focused on her passion so you're in this place of creation you're in this place of very forward movement an extremely positive reading on your side of things libra so let's see what this person now let's see what's going on with them uh what's up oh, the cards come out they get four cards libra don't hold it against me <laughs> it's not special treatment i promise you Mm. Okay, Libra. So for their Empress card, remembering it was on their side, they have the Four of Swords coming in. So they're healing um, right now. I don't know. Again, they could be healing from something with you, right? Totally unrelated. I could just associate this with like, because if you chose to be the person that moved on Libra, um, they probably suffered some pain and it's because of you kind of putting yourself first and separating yourself from the situation, Libra, that probably put them in the state of where it gave them an aha moment. They probably felt a little bit of pain, but they're growing from it. They kind of are realizing, you know, if they did something wrong for you to do that, Libra, but they are watching you, right? With this page of swords, they're watching you. Um, they're really, which makes sense. It does kind of what I was hinting at before, Libra. Maybe they are just watching you from afar and being inspired by how motivated you are continuing being with all that wand energy, being the queen of wands that you are, uh, Libra. Fabulous. And then they have the world card coming in for them. So, dare I say, they might be becoming self-aware of the cycles that they put themselves in. Um, especially when you have that paired with that Empress card, um, where the Empress is giving birth and is holding, um, I guess in some tarot, she's holding uh, the earth in her belly. Uh, but with this world card, I see this person probably having an aha moment, I would say, of where they're coming into realization of what it is that they could be doing wrong, right? If there is like a wrong thing in the situation. Um, King of Pentacles comes in for them. So we could take this Libra as where they're chasing towards stability as well. And you could take this as where they are very um, career oriented as well. And Three of Cups, yeah, I probably, I would say Libra, If we're, again, if we're going to be self-involved creatures, we could take this, uh, this card pairing as um, they want to improve themselves, be exude more of a stable energy for you because they see you uh, seeking that through your actions and are inspired to try to match your energy, perhaps. Because you have the Three of Cups here, they want to work with you. They want to connect with you in some type of way. Three of Cups is a, not like a solo energy, you know. There's like a group celebration here, Libra. So, dare I say, you might get wind here. You if this is someone from the past this is not the first time like you're not you are going to hear from them again but let's pull some clarifiers for this five of cups now for the energy between y'all two let's see we have the temperance card yeah think uh libra 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 you think that your chapter is over with some type of person i think um and you try to you from your mind right you're just like you know what i'm going forward movement moving on from this person right spirits telling me that they have different plans with this temperance card is just like just hold up honey hold up you think you know this story you know how you think you know how this story ends uh-uh because there's y'all story isn't done yet right there's definitely some type of deep connection here for spirit to be this involved to like insist that someone that you're trying to put into the past to Libra coming forward and notice how I keep on saying someone from the past I really do feel like I'm connecting to an energy um that there's been distance right now I don't feel like you guys are talking because of that page of swords four of swords and that empress card I really impulse with how forward movement you have I don't see them keeping up I because there's so much in their head they're dealing with cycles they're dealing with becoming self-aware of themselves um, we have the Four of Wands. Libra, you need to listen to me when I tell you, you think you're done with this person, whoever it is that you think you're walking away from. 
you you're not the four of wands is letting me know from spirit that the, they have bigger plans for you this four of wands they have much bigger plans for you when it comes to this connection and they bring in your card libra our card the justice card letting you know honey that you can just need to have patience with this person and maybe you want this person right i know i've been speaking in such a way that libra that you don't want this person right that you want to leave them in the past um but there i challenge that as well when it's just like why would you be thinking of this person and coming into this reading if you didn't want them it's like why would you if you truly have moved on from them then why are you watching this and thinking about them it's just a thought but with that set up Libra, there this this definitely y'all's chapter is not done yet page of cups comes in <sighs> libra libra like this is insane how this reading has panned out can we just take a moment to appreciate how these cards lined up. Now we could take this in a way, Libra, I mean, the Page of Cups represents a person coming into your life. The Page of Cups represents the deepening of a current connection, right? The Page of Cups could, you could kind of signify this as like, especially with how they, because they're watching you with that Page of Swords energy, Libra, um, they're probably going to come, I feel like they're going to come back around. They're going to come back around and try to write try to right the wrongs that they did if they did wrongs or try to just come at come back at you with a much more stable energy coming back at you with a much more respectable energy libra so definitely an interesting spread let's just get a um an oracle card as well to close off this reading libra let's see what we can get with the moon tarot i've been right i've been favoring the moon tarot for a little bit now Definitely, y'all Libra will have to let me know what this connection's about. Because I'm really nosy about this. It's really interesting how... Uh, <laughs> I just really appreciate how the cards came out. And just in the style that it did. Full Moon in Scorpio. It's time to release negativity. Now, is that Libra in regards to this person, right? Is this spirit trying to say, give this person another chance? I don't know, honey. You have to tell me. But, um... Libra, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And then share this video with a friend if you think that they would be into my messages. Until next time, though, Libra, I love you so much. Bye.